so um, I may have been wrong about the rig Contio's remote weapon. I may have been wrong. Um, it turns out that my cohort in crime, Maxilla ninety six, was using a permanent beam or was using an eye field. So the reason why the beam claw didn't look like it was doing any significant damage is because it was hitting unit that had beam defense. My bad. Doesn't mean I like the unit, just means I was mistaken about that. I was gonna this whole twenty I was I was actually prepping to do this whole twenty minute well, I was actually I shot for about twenty minutes like, okay, this is what a normal funnel acts like, this is what a scissor bit acts like, this is what four funnels look like. I, I went through this whole spiel. And then I got to the rig contio and I fired the beam short claw short claw or shot claw? Short claw against one of the drone Zakus are just standing there waiting for me, and it actually took about a third of the HP, and I'm like, okay, this is what it does. It doesn't do that lot of... Wait, that actually did quite a bit of damage. So, um, I may be wrong about that. Doesn't mean I like the rig Contio. I already said that. Okay, moving on. Um, so, yes, uh, I did the event. I'll get to that one next, I think. So I did the event, I hurried up, I had all the things I wanted, and I got the H2 Dark Hound. EA, I wanted H2 Dark Hound for a while now. I actually have all the pieces for it already, but uh, hey, if I can get an S rank for... F why the hell didn't you select? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. There we go. Never seen age, not planning to, don't care. Uh, I don't get the pirate team. The pirate team is there more or less to just give the crossbone fans a nice little fan boner. So, you know, booster extension and units movement, speed, and dash speed, agility, attack power, and defense. So basically it's a power up of everything. Which is, you know, that's kind of nice. Movement, speed, dash speed, and agility. I can't wait to see what that booster extension does. So that's, I'm guessing that's going to be an insane booster ration. Right, it's too weird. Oh, look, it's my evil brother. What, what? I was saying, oh, look, it's my evil twin brother. Oh, okay. I kind of wish I'd recorded that so we could have gotten our reactions on there, but jeez, that was just weapon one. And actually, a couple of those attacks were guards, not even crits. Really? Oh my god, that means the, we the armor on this is going to be really weak. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I know I keep saying that uh, I'm going to bring someone else in here, but Maxellus96 just seems to be the guy who's available whenever I need him. So, my apologies. And yeah, Max, you really should start making your own videos, because hey, you'll have a free punching bag if you need one someday. Yeah, I probably should make my own videos, but I seem to have kind of made a living of leaking onto other people's YouTube channels. Hmm, what does that tell you? I almost wish this could 8 hit. Almost. Yeah, almost. But hey, it is pretty nice either way. Again, the. May, uh, yeah, Max, the next time I hit you with a slow. Uh, tell me if uh, your melee swing is a little slower or something. Because somebody said that the reason that melee units will have uh, will have slow in the melee is because it doesn't just slow down movement. Apparently, it slows down melee or agility or something. So, hurry. Mm, if it does slow down the melee, it doesn't really feel like it slows it down very much, if at all. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, anyways, yes. Beam boomerangs, my very favoritest of homing weapons, except for except for homing weapons, but yes, my favorite favoritest. And now for the spec. I don't know if you've seen this already yet or not, Max. Uh, I think I have, but I like it. Good combination of he's gonna uh, screw you up. I was about to say something else, but that'll do. 
I guess he pulls a He-Man, I have the power! I like how you can see his little eyes sticking out of there. It's kind of funny. Looks like something from a Godzilla movie, though, I'll be honest. Yeah, it kind of does. Just make it all dark military green and put G-Force on the side and you're good to go. There you go. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I think I missed one in there. Twenty shots. Holy crap. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, it's actually twenty shots. Damn, son. That gun I hit. Wait. Did I hit you four times or five? Wait, what? Oh, no, it's five times. I was like, wait, this isn't a scissors, is it? <laughs> Alright, there's a... Hey, Max! My, what? Sp my spec went off right away. At the right time at the right location with no lag whatsoever. You know how many times it actually happened to me successfully in the last, was it, two hours I've been grinding to get this thing? You know how many times I actually successfully executed a spec of any kind where the target didn't jump out of it or where they didn't miraculously pull themselves away from the thing? You know how many times that actually happened? Maybe twice. Wasn't it about twice? Yeah, twice out of 15 matches. No knockover for you. Max and I were just commenting as we were s switching back in here that the uh, B machine gun has hella good ammo and average reload. You know, I, w I would love to be able to see that kind of reload on, um, not Arya's gun, what's that one I'm thinking of? It has a B machine gun but a crap reload on it. Can't think of what it is. But anyways, yeah, go ahead, Max, do your, do your deed. He needs to get his kill before, so. But I want to check the uh, the durability of the army stuff. Ah, okay. That's why I'm using a crap rank unit, because there's no S rank is ever gonna walk up to me. <laughs> I like to think that melee units have lower uh, armor and defense, but G generation changed that about two years ago. Okay, what am I doing? Right. Yeah, that's about what I thought it was going to be. That's pretty much the same as that Ray Conte. Hmm? I was saying good show by the Dark Hound. Mm -hmm. And, it, it's, you know what I like about this? It's a shooty rock, because it's got those homing weapons on it that I love. It's got a dash on it, which I also love. And it's got a ton of beam machine gun. 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 11 shots on your average C rank. I'll be honest, I'll be stunned if the, well, mobile armor mode goes farther. Oh my god, it just might. Oh my god, it goes what farther. What the heck? What? A unit functioning the way it should? Dude, what? Now, I can't turn a perfect 90 degree angle, but... Jesus. That's screwed up. Alright, so we're screwed up. So, 
So this is actually going to boost farther. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Like it it it's almost like it's almost like they want you to do the the they almost want this to be the primary mode, but for whatever reason it doesn't start in this mode. Jeez, it boosts forever. That's unbelievable. Now, does the boost go up when your um, own skill activates? Oh yeah, let's your unique let's, skill. Yeah, let's test that. See Oh my god, if it if it gets longer, you know, it has such a long boost duration on it. Honestly, I'd be surprised if they extended it. Ooh, down boy. Uh, movement speed, dash speed, agility, attack power, defense. No, I think that's the only thing they didn't touch. No, I, I think they left that alone. So, it says attack power. Yeah, because it took me 11 shots with the beam machine gun to kill you. That time it took 10. So it is it is increasing a little bit there. Wow. I've actually been looking forward to getting this for a while now, so... Wait, did I just hit you seven times? I think you did. Burn, OGP. Your lag. Just... I've had a hell of a last two hours trying to get this thing. Just your lag. I, I like, like, literally, for the last two hours, I've been missing melee specs point blank range. Now, it's going to work on max here, because A, there's an audience, and, well, you saw how long it took between when I swung and when I actually hit. But, yeah, I'll just... Ugh. Yeah, this this is really fun. I'm gonna try and make this last as long as I can. So, uh, damage seems fine. Attack speed seems fine. Reloads are very reasonable. I mean, the only the only weapon you have to worry about the reload rate is the beam Vulcans. Yeah, it's a beam machine gun. Um, it, there is no such thing as beam Vulcans. Which, yeah, I don't th I don't think they're max. Refresh my memory. Is there any occasion where a beam machine gun? had short range like a Vulcan gun. The only one I can think of is the one of the Aheads, one or two of the Aheads. I know one of them has... Uh, I've never had any of the Ahead units, so I wouldn't know. Okay. Um, what's that? Sakigake? Sakigake? I don't, I don't know how you say that one. The one that uh, some up here has piloted. I think that one had... A regular beam machine gun or Vulcan guns, I can't remember. But anyways, I yeah, so to call this to call this weapon a beam Vulcan doesn't make much sense. But on the other hand, these are not named after uh what the weapon behaves like in SCGL. They're named very much after um what they're called in the show. So whatever the hell a Dawes Lancer or a Doze Lancer is, I have no idea. So if they're beam Vulcans, then beam Vulcans they are. Um, I'm not going to make an attack type on here. I mean, it's really fast. The agility is there. The 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 melee swinging speed is there. Attack speeds and cooldowns are all reasonable. Reload rates are just fine with me. Cons considering the the two ranged weapons that it has already have fast reloads built into them, I literally don't have to touch it. Considering the boost duration and boost speed on this thing is a bit insane, I don't have to worry about that. So really, if you have to modify anything, make it last as long as you possibly can. So it's going to be that, and yeah, right. Uh, that I I'd say just a pure defense build. You know, you might even want to do that that defense uh, SP on radar thing. You might even want to do that. There's like literally nothing wrong with this thing. I've I've got no complaints. I've got no. I don't see any inherent flaws here. Just make it last as long as you can. It boosts fast. It it boosts long. The damage is good. There's, like, I can't think of any... Max, can you think of any weaknesses this has? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, heck, it's, um, its defense was pretty alright. It didn't feel too paper-thin or anything, although it's certainly not tanky. Uh, it actually has a surprising amount of shields. Like, it has shields on both sides, 
Even oh, in uh, right. mobile suit and in wave rider mode. Yeah, I forgot to mention that it's got a shield on both sides, which is nice. I, I ignore shields unless it's a 360 shield, and even then I just, like, I don't care. I can't interact with it. If if, if another player hits the shield, so be it, but it's not like I'm going to torso twist off some of that damage. Um, but yeah, I'm not... Did I interrupt you? I don't know. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, I don't see any inherent flaws in this thing. So just, you know, go full tank, make it last as long as you can, not because it's weak on defense, it might be, I don't know. Uh, but beyond that, and I, Max, I think you've used it a couple of times too, just before I got mine. Um, what did did you notice anything about the the HP or the defense? Like it dropped down quickly or anything? No, no, I never noticed anything uh, weird with the HP or defense. Like, I mean, it's it's HP dropped pretty quickly in a PvP match, but then again, I was in a PvP match with six people using SRs against me in a boss room, so. <laughs> and I'm charging into the front line, so I expect my HP to drop quite a bit from that. But um, anyway, uh, I uh, have no interjection to what you're planning. Just I, I completely agree. Go ahead and use a defense build on it. Doesn't need anything else. You think I could get away with putting reload up on that beam saber throw? Because. Uh... I might be able to, but I honestly don't see the need for it. Yeah, I don't see a need for it either. Besides, it's not like 5% is going to make it OP. Oh, 5% reload rate. Oh, 2 OP. Must nerf. But yeah, do uh, make it as tanky as you can, then put that um, that SP radar thing on there, and you'll be good to go. That's pretty much all I have to say on it. Combine. Um, actually, I've been uh, I've been wanting to get one. Looks pretty darn fun. I might use this on a regular basis, uh, assuming, of course, I actually have a computer that can and a brain and a server that can actually handle me playing melee. You know, beyond that, <clears throat> the booster skill is insane. It's insane. Um, let's see. Movement, speed, which means he walks faster. Dash speed, which means he dashes faster. Oh, you know, you know, Max, maybe that would have made a difference because dash speed actually does affect how far it boosts. Not not the duration of it, but the speed that it moves at will actually increase how far it travels. So that actually is something I, I don't know, I'm a little uncertain, but increasing the dash speed will actually make a difference how far it goes. So that's actually good. Agility, I don't notice that. Attack power, yeah. It seemed to be a small attack power increase, but it's definitely there. And defense power are increased. Didn't notice the defense, but yeah, I can live with that. Uh, stickers, I'm guessing the shoulders, and I can't turn that thing. Why? I don't know why it is I can't turn the units when I when I'm. It always seems that it only seems to happen when I'm doing these recordings. I don't want to say it's Bandicam's fault, but. places to put those. It's not like one of them just completely off and disappears. You know, it's kind of ironic. This is already kind of colored up like Ava Unit 4. So, like, how much work am I actually going to have to do on this? Ah, oh, ruined. It's one of those units where it goes to random places. Grrr. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh my god, it's near perfect. What? Wow. Oh, shit. You know what that means? Oh, great. That means the pink can't be changed. You, you can't... You can't... Max, you can't change the pink on the Dark Hound. Yep, I'm noticing it right now. That kind of stinks. Why? 
like the fourth position just colors some stuff that's already gray. The second position colors stuff that's already gray, and the first position colors stuff that's ordinarily black. Why in God's name? I don't get it. I did. Wait, wait. Just no. why? I refuse to have an AV unit that has pink on it. Unless it's AV unit one away, and even then. I mean, hell, you can leave the you can leave the skulls alone, even. I mean, but no, you have, it doesn't let you call the pink. It lets you call the skulls. Yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, dumb. Get Just uh, why do they do that? They like I was looking forward to changing the 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 red because you know blood on pirates, but no, they won't let you do that. Why? I don't know. It's stupid. Okay. Um. Okay, we'll go with the dark blue scheme and see what happens. I can't. I can't do it. it won't let me. I'm not entirely thrilled with that. Oh, the eyes. I don't like that Softmax you telling me you couldn't have put some sort of little panel or something that is that just kind of covers up the eyes. I mean, we all know it's two different models that are changing here. It's not one model that you're you're forcing to transform. It's like it's two separate models and there's a transition somewhere in there. You tell me you couldn't have in this Wave Rider mobile armor mode, you couldn't have put a little something something on there. Really? To cover up the eyes? No. Okay. Yeah, uh I have no idea and my recording just stopped all by itself. I guess I've been talking too long about paint. See, so yeah, I, I have no idea how I'm going to color this thing because I've got bloody pink I have to deal with. Like, what am I... Like, I'm not, I'm not going to do full-on pink, okay? That's not happening. Whoa, it's creepy how close it is. I might actually do that. Okay. Like, I can't think of a color scheme where pink is involved. That's, that's, that's just not happening. Like, I put pink for the eyes, because, you know, that that works with this scheme, but, and, and yet it doesn't work with this scheme. So, you know, let's see, I'm going to put gray here, and let's see, where do I put this? Right here. I kind of like that. But, you know, again, pink, what am I supposed to do with that? Okay. Uh, enough talking about paint. Uh, so yeah, defensive build, just because you can, in this case. Not because, not because it's weak, but just because you can. I don't know, you might, you might do like, uh, enhanced bullet, just to make the, uh, the boomerang travel a little faster. Which, which sounds appealing to me, actually, because I like those things. If they can get there a little faster, the people who like to dodge are going to complain. You're hacking, Ava, you're hacking. No, I'm not. Final thoughts, Max? Final thoughts, um, this unit is amazing. I love it, to be entirely honest. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this one for a while now, and uh, can't say I'm disappointed. Uh, I probably will make uh, make one with a blueprint and then combine it with this. That, that'll be neat. Dare I even say make a battleship out of it? Because I've got two ku Kusanagis, and I need to fill up one of them with something interesting. So, whoa, okay, there was a door that closed outside, sorry. Um, so... Yeah, like, this is actually good enough. I might make, like, a couple of these things or something. I don't know. It's going to be awesome regardless. Um, yeah. And so with that, this is AV Unit 4A and Magzilla96 saying thanks for tuning in.